So today I want to talk about KF's uh, new travel tripod. Uh, it's probably the lightest tripod I've ever seen, to be honest with you, and it's uh, it's so small. Uh, it's very small. It's uh, carbon fiber, and it's I think it's one of their lightest. Well, this is definitely one of the lightest tripods I've ever come across. So I've had this now for about a month. Um, I like to really use the item first before talking about it so I know what it's like. Um, yeah, I've had it up mountains, in rivers, and it's done the job really. Uh, I've had the uh, big Canon DSLR on it, on it. It's held it well. But personally, I think this would be more suited to uh, mirrorless cameras. I don't know, just because they're smaller and uh, if you were packing light or something, uh, this would be fantastic. Um, but honestly, it's as light as a feather. You could actually stick this in your pocket. Um, it's so light. So yeah, um, I've had KNF Concept uh, tripods now for the last two years. Um, if they were rubbish, I definitely wouldn't use them, but I've had no problems. The last carbon fiber tripod I had, I reviewed about two years ago from now, and it's still going. A uh, few bumps and scratches on it, but it's pretty good. And I'm sure there's a lot of uh, YouTube vloggers who have uh, reviewed this and they'll probably tell you like uh, for the price, it's a pretty good tripod. So uh, that's about the size difference. Um, and the size in this head is so small compared to the other one. Um, yeah, so. If you thought this was a light tripod, well, this is twice as light. So yeah, um, it comes in, uh, I think, five sections on the legs. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Five sections. Uh, would be better if it was three. Uh, I think it's a bit of faffing about with five. Um, but yeah, um, it's got a nice uh, panel thing on the uh, head there. On the ball head so yeah so what i'm going to do today is i'm going to go around here the weather's not so good but uh, i'm going to try and take a few photographs and perhaps a panel to demonstrate i'm going to put my big chunky 70 to 200 lens on this to see uh, how steady uh, it is but at the moment because it's such a dull cloudy day even though it could be atmospheric i've uh, spotted this tree here that's popping out it's got them nice white colours on it, so uh, it will contrast well with the background there. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to set up a composition here. Just behind me here, you've got a nice rock, which possibly could lead into this tree there. And I'm going to put a, probably a soft grad there for the sky. It's very cloudy and uh, bring that out quite a bit. So yeah, I've got a very small head on this uh, tripod. Uh, it's ball head. It's also Arca Swiss compatible. So uh, so yeah, if you've got an L bracket, it works. Uh, got a spirit level on here uh, to straighten the head. Also on this, uh, got a compass on the other side. Not sure what that's for, no idea. But uh, now then, for the height of this, um, I'm about six foot one um, or six two, I'm not too sure. Uh, but this is about the max height, and when you put a DSLR, it's about up to here. So I think the height is perfect, really. I mean, for something like this, uh, you're getting the height, which is good. So, yeah. So that's about the height of it. Um, I'll put the uh, weight down here on the side here and the height because I can't remember off the top of my head. So yeah, so what we're gonna do now is mount a camera onto it and then uh, find a composition over here. So what I've uh, done now, I've got the uh, bubble head here, which is perfectly straight. I've got the other bubble head on the uh, ball head, uh, perfectly straight. And I'm uh, looking at this tree right in front of me here and I'm going to pan across, uh, probably stop at the end of the wall there. Uh, this is not going to be an image of the ear. This is just sort of demonstration of 
a panel or using this tripod so yeah i'm gonna start from this tree uh it's very cloudy in the background uh so i want to pick that mood up because the uh tree here on the left of the frame is really popping and yeah so you've got some uh, rocks in the foreground here and uh some nice trees and all these sort of rocky mountains there in the background i uh, can see some co colorish purple right in the uh, distance there but not sure i'm going to pick that up so yeah here we go so i'm going to go for a panel on this one um and uh i'll tell you my settings on this so my iso 100 um yeah i'm going to go f16 on this one and that's giving me an exposure time of a 125th of a second so i'm probably going to do uh, about four images across So I've changed the uh, camera around uh, to get a more vertical shot, which I think works a lot better. Um, there's a bit of wind up here now, but as you can see, it's pretty solid. Um, nothing's moving, uh, so uh, I'm happy with that, definitely. So yeah, um, I'm using a Canon 200D on this, which is a pretty small DSLR, but I have used my 5D on it, and it works perfectly normal. So uh, yeah, with a bit of wind here, it's just... Uh, it's holding up pretty good. Right, so what I've done here, I put the big 70 to 200 lens on this. Uh, still, it's pretty sturdy. Uh, no shake whatsoever. Um, if it was more windy, I'd pr probably put it on a 10 second timer so there's no sort of vibration through the lens. But I'm on a two second timer at the moment and that seems to be working just fine. Um, this is a Tamron lens. Um, which is a lot more chunky than the uh, Canon 70 to 200. So there's quite a bit of weight on there now and a bit of wind blowing, it's perfectly straight. So what I've got in front of me now is a nice composition of the uh, mountains right in the far ground there. It's very dark. Um, I've got some light just peeping in through in the background there, just beneath the uh, cloud. And uh, yeah, in the foreground, you've got some color with the tops of these trees with that white stuff on it and a nice sort of rock hill right in the foreground there. Uh, I'm bracketing this one, ISO 100 F16. So yeah, uh, this is a image using the big 70 to 200 lens. So uh, I think this is going to be my last image uh, today. Um, I like these rocks here, like pinnacle little rocks here. They uh, they really stand out. Um, I like this wall on the edge there that sort of leads your eye right down into the frame there. And uh, what's good is the backdrop there. Um, of course, it's a very cloudy day, no light whatsoever. So. Uh, Sort of treat it as a moody image uh, maybe black and white not too sure uh, once again i'm gonna do it in panel on the uh, tripod and um, using a 16 to 35 lens yeah so this is going to be the last shot uh, which looks pretty good uh, unfortunately no light like i said before i'm not trying to get photo of the year i'm just demonstrating uh, this tripod today so i'm uh, gonna set up for a panel of this. So 
so yeah so I've done a panel now uh, of seven stitches right across um, it's going to be pretty wide but I'm uh, I'm doing it that way so it's uh, I'm going to be able to crop in probably towards some part of the wall here where it breaks down to fit it within the frame so yeah I think that's it for today uh, I've tested the tripod uh, it's been pretty windy up here um, but it's solid I put the 70 to 200 on it uh, so yeah it's great it's really pretty sturdy So there you go, the uh, KNF Concept TC2335 lightweight travel tripod. Um, I've got to say, it is the most lightest tripod I've ever held. I mean, it is so light, it's unreal. And I think um, if I was someone who's traveling a lot uh, abroad in the uh, hotter countries, this would definitely be coming in my bag. It weighs absolutely nothing. Um, so yeah, I've had it over the last month. I've been in rivers, up mountains. It's been a bit windy here today and it's held its own. It's held its own, it's been pretty bloody good. Um, yeah, I've had the 70 to 200 lens, no problem. So uh, would I recommend it? Um, yeah, the only niggle I have about it are the legs. They can be a bit um, fidgety sometimes and uh, I would prefer it if it was only three sections. Uh, it would make things a lot easier, but uh, I think it goes for around 120 quid and uh, you can't complain, uh, it's pretty cheap. Like I said before, I've used KNF tripods in the past and they've all done the job for me. So uh, there you go, that's my little review on this super light travel tripod.